Espanol's statement that this was verging on xenophobic um, must have been somebody written by somebody who'd had a drink or two. Okay. Um, if I could use the word that I want to use about that, it would rhyme with swish, but start with P. It's a very Scottish word, but it's exactly what their statement was. was um, oh, that one worked. I think it? we got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can say, I, listen, you're, allowed, you're allowed to say that. It's pish. It's utter <laughs> steaming pish on a winter's day. Now, was it provocative? Was it a gentle dig in the ribs? Yeah, it was, but xenophobic. Mm. i tell you where you talked about an unpleasant stench. Sergio Garcia is a player. I saw someone coming through the Cantera in Barcelona. I was lucky enough to be here um, in my first couple of seasons when he was breaking through. Good footballer then. Good footballer throughout the time when um, he won uh, a Euro Championship medal in 2008 with Spain. Um, a leader, crafty, technically gifted. I've always liked him. He's basically stood up accusations from the media that he used um, racial slurs, racist abuse to Titi on the pitch, then went um, to give him some credit to apologise um, to Titi who accepted it. And then came out and said, um, well, look, you know, my wife's from Gypsy Stock and my brother-in-law is African-American. And so? Hmm. What, like, um, therefore, I didn't really mean it. Well, why did you do it? What's that reference to your wife's race or background or your brother-in-law's race or background meant to mean? So, like, I'm okay with them, in inverted commas. I really didn't like it. Mm. And um, I'm unwilling to believe that Sergio Garcia is, is an outright bad man. Where I think it represented, I thought it was a microcosm of the way that too much of Spain thinks. They think a little bit of abuse in a heated situation about somebody's colour or race is something that isn't that serious and you can take back and well it's not 